Hi Glams, welcome back for today's look. It's a glam tomato look. Why can't I be like a tomato for today's look? If you are new to my channel, then click on that subscribe button. First, I am moisturizing my lips with the lip serum from the brand MAC. This serum is well moisture to lips before applying any lipsticks. Using my all time favorite PG serum oil to my face before applying makeup, I have absolutely a very dry skin and this oil controls the dryness and without having any cake makeup. Using Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade of Warm and applying to my complete face and neck. Blend the foundation by using foundation makeup press and spread the foundation deep into the skin and neck. Don't forget blending foundation to ears. Using Maybelline Stay Stain Concealer in the shade of Warm, uncovering my little black spots on my eyelids, side lips and underwater eye. Blending this concealer with my all time favorite beauty sponges. These white sponges are really miracle when you blend the concealer or any foundation. It sets the skin immediately and removes any excess makeup. Using Sephora I Love Eyebrow Palette and shaping my brows. My brows are natural, black and dark in color but I needed natural brows in my makeup. For that I am just giving up a light brown eyebrow shade from the palette and filling the brows. After filling the brows, setting them with a brow paste can make up my brows looks natural. Using velvet bronzer contour stick and contouring my face to get that perfect lifting shape. Again I am blending this contour with beauty sponges to get that perfect line shapes on my side cheeks and under neck area. For my nose, just tapping up with my fingers. Using Dremel Lundell bronzer and blending up to my cheekbones, I like contouring and bronzing my face all the time. Using Milani press powder and blending up to my concealer area to set the concealer long lasting. Using MAC light orange shade blusher and blending up to my cheeks, this is a very natural look that your cheeks can glow up long lasting. Coming to the part of eye makeup, as I already said that a tomato look, for that first I am greasing my corner lid with a light base green shade. Using a natural green shade from the palette and blending up to the crease area. This gonna set the corner areas of my eye makeup. Mm -hmm. 
using stay stain concealer and blending to my excess eyelid this concealer can pop up the color shade of the side lids Using a brown red shade and tapping around the concealer area, look at that, how the color is popping up on the concealer. Increasing the same shade eyeshadow to the water eyelid to pop up my eye look. This is one of my all time favorite which I do prefer on my eye makeup. Using Joya eyeliner pencil and drawing up my eyeline. Today's look I am drawing a very fine eyeline. Using a MAC black eye pencil and creasing the water eyelid to get the natural complete eye look. Using a eyelash shaper and shaping the lashes to work up and get some volume. Using BH Cosmetics eyeshadow palette from the same palette in the middle we get the highlighter. Using the highlighter and blending up to my face to get that glow look. Using MAC mascara and filling up the lashes as high volume it can. Using wet and wild red lipstick and filling up my lips to get a complete look. Finally setting up my makeup with a setting spray. Here comes my final look. I hope you liked it. If you liked then hit on that like button. That means a lot to me and follow on my Instagram which I am going to link up below in my description box. See you soon in my brand new makeup look. Bye bye.